one? I have a box. Let's open this box. I'm Troublesome Junction once again bringing you quite the special video. So this right here, I did post this on my Instagram and uh, yeah, now it's time for the review aspect because the picture I used was just the picture of the listing and uh, yeah. So opening this box, this is a really special video. Ah, uh, more bubble wrap. I know exactly who to give this to. Ah, you see that down there, that the little speck of gold? This right here is quite the item. Even you must agree. Because this right here, I believe it is actually quite rare too, because of a Leo Kim Videos video he made on this item a very, very long time ago. Where he, I think he got, yeah, he got sc scammed in it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, just, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm actually holding this in my hand. So I'm gonna actually put him down for one quick second so I can get everything together. Okay, so what I have to say about this guy is plain and simply, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm actually holding this guy in my hands right now. So for those of you who don't know, this is an anniversary item of it's the uh Ertl golden thomas it was sold as an anniversary item and i mean it's i don't think it's as rare as the millennium top millennium thomas that they released it was like a silver version of this but this gold one is quite rare i have not seen any listings on ebay but i have seen fellow youtuber leo kim video he made a full-on review about his he got two of them mint in box well one of them was repackaged and he got scammed with it and me over here I just came across this on eBay, $25. Yeah. It was, like, I, I bid it on this during school hours, too. I was in the middle of fifth period chemistry class, and I got a notification saying, eBay auction ending. And I look at it, and I was like, oh my gosh, no one's bid it on this Golden Thomas. So, I jump at the opportunity, and bam, I won. So, going over the detail, we're actually going to be comparing him to a standard Ertl Thomas, which is basically what he is recolored from. So, notable differences, he does not have any of the same coloring as this one. Everything on him is gold, except for the screws and the pins that sort of hold the wheels in like that. So, th I'm assuming that this is a different material because this one seems a lot more tougher, I suppose, than this one. This is like a sort of more rubbery and flexible material, while this is much more solid. And that's basically it. it I compare this to maybe like a chrome, older chrome Lego bricks is what I compare them to. And then the detail on there, like the number one, that's not painted on there like how this one has its paint, well, printed on there. And yeah, this is actually engraved into the thing solely because they didn't want to add any paint to this They just wanted it to be straight up gold great choice on you Ertl. great choice So it's basically the exact same even down to the uh, mold and even the coal detail up there, too And yeah, yep the coal is golden and then all these lines. Yep. That's uh, detailed on there like it's actually in grit, indented in the model. So is it on here though, to be fair. There's the little funnel. I never liked the Ertl funnels because I thought that they were, you know, too small, I suppose. And yeah. And then how on the top, on the normal Thomas, these are silver, these are of course gold. And it's really hard to just go into in depth detail on this guy because, well, it's pretty simplistic. It's just a Thomas painted gold. But. Let's compare it to what we get served up in recent times. This is the 2015 Golden Thomas that was released. Everyone thought that was going to become rare, so everyone got at least one mint in box, and now they're, they're fucking $3 a piece on eBay. But uh, yeah, I own like three of these. I have two of them out of box, and then one of them still mint in box. And then two of those uh, Golden Thomas minis, too. So basically, detail on this guy... It's a lot shinier in the sense, mainly because this one sticks to a more, um, what's the word, P 
pearl gold type of color scheme like the wheels and such they are not metallic they are pearl gold i love pearl gold but when you compare it to the chrome gold on this guy yeah it's no comparison at all faces now this one has the gray face all golden face there's also another one that had an all golden face the uh, wooden railway one i actually did own that back in the day and i lost it and i'm still pretty quite sad about that it's not rare at all but you know still hate losing thomas stuff and then the cab do yeah it's non-existent on this one because mattel got really really dumb they used to have cabs on their uh newer like when they were first new at making taking place stuff and then yeah they just got rid of it entirely and then the size comparison so this is about maybe three fourths the size if you don't count the freaking magnets on them but overall, I think that this one is much better than this one. I'm actually going to uh, set these guys in the background. Now, the wheels on this guy, there are, of course, they're pretty loose, to be fair. Like, you, you know, you can see them sort of bent out of place and all that. I'm assuming that whoever owned this was maybe a child and they wanted to open it, take it on adventures, ETC. But can you honestly blame them as a kid? You got a shiny freaking Thomas. Now, of course, that makes people like me somewhat cringe if you see someone who opens these nowadays, but as a kid, I can definitely see why they did open it, because it is an absolute joy to behold. And once I'm done reviewing this, I'm going to polish him down, put him on my shelf, and probably get a glass box to put him in, because I love this guy. It's always been one of my missions. Like, before the, like before the day I die, I wanted to at least get either the Millennium Ertl Thomas or this one. And just because I stumbled upon this for like 25 bucks at random, I feel quite lucky and very fortunate indeed to own one of these. Because I post this on Instagram, a lot of fellow Train to Face people were somewhat were pretty jealous about this. And uh, yeah, hate to flex on you guys, gotta pull a ricey boy. So yeah, the year date on this at the bottom, of course, it's licensed by Ertl. It says uh, 1995, right there. And of course the bottom, just looking at that, it looks really, really nice. Like, just seeing all of that familiar detail on this guy that we've come to know and love, just all golden, it's really amazing. The couplings, they are not like the uh, British versions of like the newer style ones where they were like, had the same clip at the front, but then like the weird U one at the back. They're just the standard Ertl ones that we got here in America. Because, yeah, we got them cancelled before the UK did. So, if I were to give this a rating, uh, it doesn't even deserve a rating. It's just, find one. At all costs, if you are a Thomas collector and you love Ertles, find one. Because this is somewhat of a gem to behold. Much more valuable than this freaking Mattel piece of shit. But this one right here... It will bring a smile to your face no matter how old, no matter how young you are. Just knowing that you own a piece of Thomas and Friends history like this, an anniversary item, and one of the earliest anniversary items that there was, like in merchandise wise, yeah, it's quite a joy to behold. You can bet your buns that I'm going to polish this down for my disgusting, unworthy fingerprints and put this in a glass box. It is quite troublesome junction is quite honored to own this so easily gonna give this a freaking 50 out of 10 much like uh yeah well i can't really say much like the metal sonic video because i never did post that one i have another uh metal sonic video that it ended up getting lost in time so i guess this will be the official first 50 out of 10 that i give an item so that's all i have to say for this video don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel because we are like six or five subscribers away from getting 200 subscribers thank you all so much for sticking around i've been trying to improve on my content maybe change things up a bit so yeah thank you for all the people that have brought this channel to where it is it might be small but still very significant to me so i'll see you all on the flip side